All right, pedal thingy. I've been ignoring you for a couple weeks. Well, these things lost their stickiness. They're still a little sticky though. I guess I should have put a bit more hardener in the resin when I made the fiberglass. I don't know. It's mostly not sticky though. Okay, now I need to get those things into, into these bearings. Step one, take the bearings off. All right. No, no, I don't fit. All right, sandpaper. Well, it's pretty close. Shouldn't have to do much sanding. Oh, sanding. Oh, that is good though, because I do want these to fit snugly on there. Let's see the other side. Well, that end fits pretty good. I'll just have to sand it a little bit so I can get it a bit further on. Not too much, though. Get it down to there so far. All right. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Now this one is in this bearing pretty solid. This one, however, is tight at this side and loose on that side. So you should probably find something to stick in there just to take up the space. Yeah, all that space in there. Maybe I can find a PVC <laughs> Maybe I can find a PVC pipe that fits over this. Jam it right in there. Oh man. Put these at 90 degrees to each other before I fiberglass that solid. That way when this person's pushing, this person will be at a rest. When this person pushing, that person will be at a rest. So it'll be more even power just distribution. And I just need to make a paddle wheel that fits right in here. Hmm. All right, my pedal thing here has been on hold for a little while. Well, I've been working on other things, mostly that. <clears throat> But that means I've had some time to think about it, and I think I know what to do. So the only thing this needs right now is a paddle wheel in the middle. And with the whole paddle wheel situation, these two pieces will get connected with some fiberglass. And All right, I'm just going to start doing it because I think I know what to do. I was hoping I had a flat sheet of fiberglass. This one is curved. like It's a cutout from 
one of the domes where I put a window in. I think this will be fine. I think I can use this. All right. This thing is 11. And it leaves me six up there. Is it big enough? Yes, it is. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. I think. All right, I got those cut out with metal shears. Luckily, I didn't have to use my angle grinder, because angle grinders make a mess of fiberglass. Uh, I need to put holes, two holes. All right, I got a center mark there. fiberglass stuff inside. I think I need to glue these in place. So mix up like half a teaspoon of resin and just put it in those seams and lock them in. Then I can take it outside and fiberglass the crap out of this. Whew, I got all that fiberglass in. The outsides, those are, that's a nice job there. The inside is a bit of a mess. That's just because this side wasn't perfectly lined up with that side, so whatever, it doesn't matter. I got it on there and it's it's strong. Eh, no one's gonna see that anyway. Oh, good stuff. Some rivets. Whoa, what happened to you, dude? <laughs> Did your big sister make that for you? Mm -hmm. Cool. Make this thing shake. Oh, do this. Can I give you a little hop? Hey, I'll grab my fingers. You gotta, no, you gotta open it. Open it all the way. Then put it closer. You can, now, now you can close it. Uh, now it'll actually do something. Uh, <laughs> Ready? Uh, Move your finger. Yeah. My thumb, my Don't do that. You pinch your fingers. Man, I just. Here, squeeze. Let's do a little hop. Go ahead. Use your fork. Give me some propulsion. 
Right, plenty of clearance in there. And I still have clearance here, so if I think I need to make these wider, I have some space. I think I can try it the way it is. Oh, last thing, I need a cover. So this doesn't splash all over like crazy. Right, 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 right. Of course I need a cover. Derp, derp, derp.